Uh, normal, normal attorney David Manny, uh, he gets up and he, on inspiring days he runs a, a, a flat track uh, course, uh, not, not too heavy because I want him to save, save most of his energy for, for sparring that day. And uh, he, he gets here uh, about 2 o'clock and uh, he goes to the dressing room, wraps his hands, gets, comes out, gets loose. And today he'll go eight rounds with two different sparring partners and we'll go from there. And then after the sparring, we will do eight rounds of mitts and uh, I just work on the strategy of the fight and what we need to work on. And, uh, you know, not staying in the pocket too long, too long is very important in this fight. He has to be in and out really quick. I mean, he can do that, and he's very good at, good at that. But if he stays in the pocket, this guy, this guy has good power. He can punch, uh, you know, and one punch can change things in boxing. We all, we all know that. And uh, even Manny Pacquiao, yeah, because uh, you know, he, uh, he knows that he's in a very hard fight, and he's fighting the best opponent out there. But when he picked that opponent, I called him up and congratulated him. I was thinking of fight, maybe we'll fight Mikey Garcia or yeah. one of those guys. A little smaller, not as big a puncher, but he picked the best guy he could and uh, that's Manny Pacquiao. Did you ever imagine that you were going to be training him all like this long? At this age? <laughs> no, uh, it's been uh, a dream come true. I built this gym because I said you never know when the next Muhammad Ali is going to walk through your door. And like a week later, Muhammad Ali walks through my door and says, can I train here? It was like the best day ever, right? And then uh, about a month goes by, and then Manny Pacquiao comes in my gym and says, uh, I hear you're good, you, you're good at doing mitts. I said, let's go, let's go to work. And then we went up there. And after one round, he says, I think we have a new trainer. And I says, this guy has a bright future. He, he had power and speed. And he was uh, really fun to work with. And our, our first uh, title to defense was, uh, uh, no, title to win was against, um, oh, shoot. He just passed away, mm -hmm. I just, uh, from South. Fred, help me. Ludwig, he fought Ludwig for the title. I'm sorry, okay. I know Ludwig well, I just, uh, I, I know he died of the COVID recently, and, and uh, but that was Manny's first title fight on uh, De La Hoya show with me, and at 122 pounds, and he dominated that fight, and uh, he's been doing that ever since. I mean, you know, uh, we win some, we lose some. We know we know what it's like to get knocked out. We know what it's like to knock the opponent out and so forth, but the thing about Manny Pacquiao, when, if he gets knocked out, you don't have to be careful and get a, like a, a weaker opponent and so forth, because he knows that he get knocked out is part of the sport. It's just part of life in boxing. And the thing is, he accepts that better than anyone I've ever seen. And if he gets knocked out, don't worry that you don't have to fight, get a stiff for the next fight. We'll fight the best guy out there next also. So like after this, after this fight, you know, we're not gonna fight an easy fight. Uh, I hope he goes for one more because I wanna see the president of his country defend his title. Excellent. And Manny has been fighting for so many years and you've been with him. It's, it's that easy also to stay with the, the same coach. What, what do you think has been the formula for you guys to stick together? Uh, the best formula for us to stick together is that we only get together during training camps. I mean, it works really well this way because we don't get bored of each other. Or, or you know, so I mean, I've been to the Philippines like 36 times now, and I, uh, I, it's pretty fun to go there because, like, uh, I get thrown out of the mall though. I'm not allowed <laughs> in the mall anymore because too many people follow me and. Uh, I think I'm like the third most popular person in the Philippines. Wow. But it's a lot of fun over there. It's a nice place to go. But the thing is, when I'm with Manny, that's in training camp. Training camp's different. So training camps are usually six to eight weeks, and we get together and we go. go. He does, 
he over the last two years so he's been sending me uh, uh, tapes of his sparring sessions and, and so forth and what, what he's been working on and I can reply back and tell him what I think the adjustments that he, he needs to make so uh, but when he picked you know I thought we we're gonna pick Mike Garcia or somebody like that a, a smaller person not a big puncher and so forth but he picked the he picked the best guy out there and I congratulated him, him on that and I said now you picked the guy out there that's a big puncher and, and a very, very good fighter I said we 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 got to get to work a little bit early so he came over a little bit early and we started right right away